Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Excited for today's video. It's all about the Shantikai Perle collection. Finally, I got my product and now I'm able to give you uh, my video. So we have the highlighter, we've got the blush, and we have the eye shade. Um, and uh, I'm gonna talk about packaging. We're gonna veer up a little bit. And I'm gonna talk about packaging and things I love and don't love so much. And it's a get ready with me. So I'm, I'm talking holidays. I'm sharing some things about me in the holidays. And I want to hear from you uh, about your holiday plans. I'm asking you specific questions. Uh, and I'd love to hear your feedback. So if you want to see how this all came together, what this cute thing is in my head, just keep watching. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell. I appreciate it when you do. Now let's jump in. Hey guys, so before we jump into the Shantikai video, I have to talk about my Breezy Tea product of the day. I'm rocking our navy boho head wrap, long piece of stretchy fabric, fashion it into any style you want. They come in lots of colors. They're great for exercise. They're great for uh, running errands on days you don't have time to do your hair, you have no inclination to do your hair. These really do spruce your hair up. And again, I say it, instant facelift. I always look younger when I uh, am wearing my hair up and it's pulling me back. They're awesome, awesome. The reviews, you can read them yourselves. Our customers are loving uh, our boho head wraps and they're super easy to put on. We have a video tutorial, we have a picture tutorial in each listing and, and everything on our site is on sale right now until December 2nd. So we're having a sale, we're having our cyber sale. Uh, and if you wanna check out any of our boho head wraps, just visit us at breezytea.com or our Etsy shop. You can find all our products there. Okay guys, this is gonna be, I wanted to talk a bit in this one, but a fun talk. Next week is Thanksgiving. You know, the holidays are upon us. And I want to sort of do a Shantikai get ready with me. Not a lot of products. You saw me just put on the foundation. The reason I wanted to wear the foundation is because I did mention to you guys in the last video that the Future Skin Foundation um, is one of my favorites. I wear sand. And the reason it's one of my favorites is because on me, it's such a natural, natural finish. Not too glowy. Not really matte. Sits in, you know. In the middle, I love this foundation and I just wanted to, you know, show show my face before you saw me putting it on and now you can see as it's sitting here. So I'm such a fan of this Future Skin Foundation. So I just wanted to mention that. 
But today, it's a lot of questions for you guys. I wanna know about holiday favorites. We're gonna talk food. And of course, all while talking about the holidays, we're going to be digging into this Shantikai Perlez uh, collection. Now, I have uh, all three products. And so, um, yeah, we're gonna get all those on in between everything else. We're gonna start though with, we're gonna pick up where I am, which is some contour situation. We're gonna use the Real Bronze uh, Absolute Goa from Shantikai, okay? I'm gonna use this one again on my face. I'm gonna use this a custom brush that I had made from the brand Takeda, Japanese brand. So I had these specifications. It is a uh, angled brush, but this was made especially for me. So I'm gonna be using this brush. Okay, so let's start, since Thanksgiving is next week, uh, let's start with Thanksgiving food. What is your favorite thing to eat at Thanksgiving? Now, I do recognize not all of my subscribers and viewers will be from the US. So, uh, holidays in general. So we'll talk about uh, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever you're celebrating at the end of the year or another holiday. What's your favorite uh, holiday meal? Let me know that. Mine has always been growing up. I'm such a stuffing girl such a stuffing girl. And I've always cooked, right, for Thanksgiving, for the holidays. However, when I move to, I make a, the, the meanest sausage uh, stuffing. Ah, it's so good, it's so good. And the problem is at home, I use Italian sausage, right? But here, when I move to Europe, why did they not have my Italian sausage? So I stopped making my stuffing because I've tried it. I tried it with chorizo, I've tried it with other things. But I wasn't really, you know, you know when the ingredients just wrong? Well, this year in Portugal, we found this sausage that might work. So I'm thinking of doing a small little pan of uh, stuffing this year because, uh, you know, I finally found an ingredient that I think might work as a, as a substitute for Italian sausage. So then that, that leads me to a question. Is it stuffing where you live? Is it dressing where you live? I'm from New York, it's a stuffing. We say stuffing, dressing goes on my salad. Um, so that is definitely, it's the stuffing is definitely for me. I'm quite a fan of this uh, Ronzer. I think this is, I don't think this is the deepest. I don't remember. There's one I think that is deeper than, um, than this one, but I'm quite a fan. Um, and it warms me up. And I, what I love about this brush is it doesn't pick up too, too much. It looks more, it, it looks more severe here. So it, it, I feel like I'm in control, uh, complete control, and I won't overdo it, and I won't have to pull it back. Um, okay, so stuffing is my favorite. This year, for meat, we are a turkey wing family, my family back home. We are a turkey wing. I'm trying to find a brush to put it just a little bit on the bridge of the news. Um, we are a turkey wing family. I do not, I do not like the whole bird. And we were making whole birds for many, many years. Until one day we said, wait a minute, everybody's vying for the wings, like what are we doing? So we just started, we scrapped the whole bird. Cause my favorite part about the bird, truthfully, was the stuffing inside and the turkey in a sandwich at a later date, turkey breast. But we gave up the full bird and we just started making wings and everybody in the family was very, very happy. Uh, so that's my thing, I'm making turkey wings. My husband now makes a, you know, makes a mean macaroni and cheese. I have introduced him to the soul food side of life. So he makes a mean macaroni and cheese. He's, he's on mac and cheese duty. I'm gonna make some greens um a small thing of stuffing and that's it we don't do i don't do too much because it's just it's just gonna be the two of us so i don't want to get too crazy and then a dessert which i'm still deciding on i think i'm gonna go with a crumble because i feel like after such a a heavy meal um you don't need a heavy dessert so a crumble seems pretty okay with the oatmeal uh crumble top and um, apples and berries. So, you know, we're still in the season, but we're keeping it simple. That's our menu. Tell me what your favorite 
holiday or Thanksgiving food is, if you're cooking anything this year, what is your specialty? So let's quickly talk about this packaging. So I received the highlighter. I was waiting for the highlighter. I didn't even look at the other ones because I put it to the side. Ah, this is the busiest time of year, guys. I, I put it to the side because I knew I had to wait for the highlighter to do this video. And when I took it out, it comes in, each product comes in a satin bag, which I could have done without if the packaging was a little more substantial. And I took it out. The first thing I thought when I had it and the thing was, wow, this feels really light. This feels really strangely light because, you know, I'm expecting like, you know, with the, the price, what I'm gonna get, it's gonna live up to the price. So I took it out and all the excitement that I had and, I, and uh, just kind of went, <sighs> and here you go. Now, if I told you I were going shopping um, to buy some makeup and I, I said, I'm just gonna play you a sound. Where am I? Am I, you know, at Target? This front of the store in the dollar bin we didn't even get to the to the beauty section in the dollar bin or am i at a luxury department store with expensive luxurious makeup if you just heard this sound we know this sound sounds like the plastic on top of your yogurt okay you wouldn't think luxury and so i was so disappointed by how light this feels and then this super shiny plastic, it just is the kind of plastic that will scratch up and go away. It kind of dimmed the, what I thought was a really beautiful touch. Now, were we expecting real pearls? Absolutely not. So, But I thought that the case would support the really fun and beautiful pearl design. So I was super disappointed. And I saw pictures online, but I didn't see anybody mention. Everybody was fawning over the pearls. And I didn't really read anything about... Um, the packaging not feeling substantial. Now, I don't watch videos, I don't know if somebody mentioned it, but it really, that was the first thing I noticed and I adore Shantikai. That's why I continue to use them. I absolutely adore their philanthropic work. In fact, I've learned about so many organizations I never knew before using them. I partnered up with one of the brands I found out, one of the organizations for our new brand because I want to give back. So I, I adore what they do. And then when I saw the prices when these first came out, I was like, whoa, this, this collection is steep, but I know, I know when I get it, it's going to, you know, the packaging is going to be amazing. We know the formula is going to be great. And so, yeah, for me, the price and what I got in terms of packaging, there's a disconnect. And the same is true. The larger conversation, the same, I said the same thing about Hermes. Their compact is beautifully chic. Love it. Have no complaints about the design, but it doesn't feel substantial. It feels like plastic. It taps like plastic. I'm, I was not impressed. I'm not impressed with the feel of the Hermes compact. And no more excuses about things being made in Italy. Okay, yeah, things are being made in Italy. Great, fabulous formulas. But there are businesses with smaller budgets, clean. So they, 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 they really have to pay a lot for um, ingredients. Uh, who've managed to give us sustainable, in some cases, um, packaging, luxurious packaging that fits the price they put on their products. This, unfortunately, this Perle uh, uh, collection, the, the packaging does not live up to the price or my expectations, and that's where I'm going to leave it. Ranch is over. I am excited to try the products though, and we're gonna get into the eyes now. Okay, guys. I we got that out the way, but I would have been remiss if I wasn't completely honest with how I felt about it. It was if, if, if I didn't have any reaction, I wouldn't have said anything. But literally, when I felt it, I, I had a, a reaction, so I wanted to share with you guys. So we're going to get into the eyes, okay? And this is a new Lumiere eye sheen in Baroque. Here's the color. It's looking taupey to me. I'm excited to try it on, swatch it, and see. What I'm talking about, again, I, I, I thought the idea of the pearls was really an awesome idea. I thought they did a really, it was smart. It was different. That's one thing about Shantikai packaging. Um, it's going to be different. It's going to look different to other uh, products that you have. That's for sure. And I do, I really do appreciate that they change the packaging with each release. So let's swatch this. And now I want to let's do, so we talked about food, right? Let's talk about, this is a beautiful color. Here's Baroque, but I'm curious about something. 
I wanted to see something. I don't know why the Lumiere and then Luminescent. Okay, I thought they were the same. They're not. So it's the Luminescent eye shade that I, I recently, okay, so it is much darker. Okay, this is, so this is the Luminescent color here in uh, the, the, the Leopard, okay? And which is the Bronze Brute. And I thought they were gonna be the same color or close to. So this is the Luminescent and then this is the Lumiere. So this has more of just a, a glow. This one does have a little, this is such a beautiful product. Oh, look how pretty these look together. And I would I would probably match these two together. So maybe we'll, we'll do something with it. Um, I don't know how I wanna apply this with a brush on my finger. Maybe I'll start with my finger and then blend it out with a brush. Um, okay, so we talked about so smooth, guys. So, so, so. Feels so creamy as I blend it. Uh, no, there's even a, wait a minute. That's interesting. That's an unexpected, uh, so it is. It's giving me the colors that on a, I didn't even, I didn't even realize it was going to. The colors on a pearl, you know, as it hits the light, there's that green, there's that pink in it. Okay, I'm not mad at this. This is very, very interesting and very, very pretty. I was not expecting this. So let me blend this out and we'll do the same thing. So let's talk holiday gifts. What was your favorite? Is there a favorite childhood present that you received? for the holidays. My mom, single mom, but never wanted for anything. I mean, my mom stood on lines to get me gifts. So the present that comes to mind first, back in the day, back in the 80s, Cabbage Patch Kids, I had like eight. But when they came out with the Talking Cabbage Patch Kid, the Talking Cabbage Patch Kid was not uh, easy to find. But in New York, we actually had a Cabbage Patch. So you can go down to Manhattan, go to the Cabbage Patch, and see the babies being born out the cabbage. Man, it was it was it was dope. So my mom had to go down there and stand online for a really long time to buy me my talking uh, Cabbage Patch kid. And this is very pretty. This is very very pretty. I'm gonna try it with the the. This is so deceptive that I love it. I was not expecting so much. Um, pink from this, but it makes sense. It makes complete sense in terms of the colors that a pearl reflects. That's really, really pretty. Super soft, absolutely no fallout to speak of, guys. Very, very pretty. I might put a little of that brown on there. We'll see. So she stood on line and she got me this Cabbage Patch Kid doll. And then those dolls back then, especially the talking ones, it was new. That was like a hundred bucks. And it felt like, you know, when you're young, I, it just feels like thousands and thousands of dollars. So that is the, the first gift that comes to mind. So what was your favorite childhood memory? Well, not memory, I, that's too long. The gift that you got as a child, um, that you really, really love that stands out now as an adult. Cause that was a fun one. Now also I do have, now back to food. Cause I have a question for you guys. Do you do the same kind of meals again for Thanksgiving and for Christmas? I was, I probably early twenties, maybe. Um, my mom and we were over it. My siblings didn't want my sisters, no, like nobody wanted a turkey again so soon after Thanksgiving. Like it feels like you were just getting rid of the turkey but by the time Christmas came around. So one year I decided to, um, I was like, listen, we just had turkey. Nobody's really into it. Let me do a theme. And I started doing themes and I did Italian and I made a lasagna. It was my first lasagna, which has become a specialty of mine. It was my first lasagna and Man, we did a whole Italian themed meal and everybody loved it. Nobody missed turkey. Nobody missed turkey. So I wanna know, do you make the same, is it the same kind of food? And of course with turkey means the same kinds of sides. You're gonna still do macaroni and cheese. And da -da -da. does your family keep it pretty samey, samey? Do you have the same menu for Thanksgiving and for uh, Christmas? Here, this is the first year actually, all the years here that we're gonna be spending Christmas with my in-laws, and that's the one time of year that they um, eat a turkey. So I was like, okay, once a year, okay, but that, 
Thanksgiving, Christmas in America is a lot. I'm telling you guys, it's the strangest thing. Even swatched on my hand, it's bringing out more of the gold, but on my eyes, the pink just like came alive. I love a surprise. I love a surprise product. I think that's super fun. Um, let's, yeah, let's, how about we take a little of that, take a little of this uh, leopard and just maybe put it in the corner of the eyes. Uh, that would be fun. Any cool, I'm always looking for any cool, like traditional food that you eat at your um, holiday meal that maybe is like from your, or whatever your culture is, like something that's stuck with your family, a cultural thing um, that must be, I need to make coquitos a thing. Let me tell you that I am a, a decent amount Puerto Rican. And um, so oh, I'm liking it with a little bit of the the le the the leopard. That brown kind of goes really well with these pinky colors. Very very pretty. I'm gonna leave it there. Like I don't want to put too much brown. I want it to be all about this pink. But I just thought, well, that would look really nice with it. Look how nice this gels again. If you saw my last video talking about fallout, there's no fallout here. None. None, 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 none. Yeah, but I wanna know if you have a traditional food. Maybe your family, whatever, from Europe, from Africa, from, from, from Native American, whatever the, whatever, whatever the, the um, where you're from, your background is, is there like one traditional food that has carried over through the generations that you can't have a holiday without? Cause I love, my husband does too, that's one of the things we bond over. Growing up in New York, I was exposed to every kind of person, all kinds of food. Plus my mother teaches English as a second language, so all her students were foreign. And so we got a lot of home cooked meals because they love cooking and love giving her stuff and to making her try stuff. So I've been exposed to all that my whole life. So I love foods from other places. So I'm always curious what's a, what's a, what's a meal that, that's from your ethnicity, from your background that you have to have at the holidays. Now let's move on to travel for the holidays. Is that something you do? Do you travel for the holidays? Has your holiday experience changed from childhood to adulthood? Um, I've always been with family at the holidays until I moved to Europe. Um, and so that's been different. And the first couple of years in Barcelona was tough. It was it was it was tough for me be at the holidays specifically because I'm very much used to being around my family at um, the holidays. So it was tough to be alone in Barcelona. So when I got married and my husband and I, we started a tradition, which is why I tell you this is the first year we're actually going to be in Portugal for, for well last year, too, because of the the lockdown. But we were sequestered in our houses, um, in our in our place. Um, then we have a tradition where we travel. Uh, at the holidays, my husband and I do. It works out for our business because it's the time of year that we get a, people, the expectations of pe people realize people are on vacation, mail might be slower. So we have a little leeway to take a break then. So we just started to travel for Christmas at the end of the year. You work up, work all that time, and then you you get to, um, you get to uh, go away. So we've mostly traveled around Europe. Um, which has been interesting because I've gone to places I've never had an interest in going in my life. And some places I've fallen in love with, uh, Brussels, uh, Belgium for one, I, I never. Next up, we'll get back to that, is the Rouge Perle Akoya, okay? So the blush, again, really fun, beautiful pearl uh, outside. And we have a nice pink blush here, which I'm excited to get into. Oh, so it's, I mean, it feels like butter, y'all. So beautiful. The formula is so so beautiful. Um, it, it's a bright, it's a brighter pink, but it swatches actually lighter. Again, it's giving the the pearl feel like that. You, you get the pink. It's, it's it is. It's reminding of the pink and the pearl. Speaking of, I looked at my hand and the eyeshadow. You know, out of the light, and you can see more of that iridescence. You're getting all those those shades, which is really really fun. So travel has become a big thing for me now. Uh, around the holidays and I'm going to use another Takeda brush for this blush and I, I, it feels weird not to be to be um, 
traveling this year somewhere else. We may, maybe we'll do it after, I'm not sure. Um, but, uh, hmm, it's there, but it's lighter. It actually swatches on me a bit lighter than I anticipated. That's interesting. Might need a little build up here. But a place like Brussels, never had any intention, never in my life did I want to go to Brussels. Man, I fell in love with that city. I had no idea how multicultural uh, Brussels was. No idea at all. Yeah, okay, so it's easy to build up. I'm, I've got the pink now. It's a faint pink, but it's still very pretty. And everything is giving that like pearlescent uh, finish. So I'm happy about that. Yeah, there's a really nice sheen that is giving me complete pearlescent. Very, very, very pretty. So a place like Brussels, Brussels, super multicultural, one that we, give me a Middle Eastern area too, man. The food, that's where, that's where, that's like my favorite section of Brussels. Man, the food, the people were super cool. Um, we got lots of chocolate, found my favorite chocolate place the, in the world, now New House, when I first went to Brussels. So it's a place we've been back to and one I just absolutely adore, absolutely adore um, Brussels. And that was unexpected. Austria, we spent like 12 days, we rented a house in Austria one year. Again, I didn't have any intention of going to Austria. We, we drove across the country. It was so serene. It was so pretty when we went. But my favorite trip, those were awesome trips, and I absolutely love them because I love to travel and I love planning a trip, um, was when we went to Aruba with my mom. So it was uh, my husband, it was me, and it was my mom. We went to Aruba. We met my mom in the US, and then we all flew to Aruba. That I've never been a beach person at all. Do not like the heat, but we had been working so hard that year. I was like, I just want, I don't want to sightsee. I just want to chill. And we went to Aruba and we rented this house and um, it was, it was dope y'all. Aruba, whew. And it's one now we're like, hmm, do we want to go back to Aruba? Do we want to do a different island? We love Aruba so much. My mom loved it. We had such a nice time. It's interesting traveling. It wasn't that nice. Traveling with your mom and your husband, the three of us. Not, not, I mean, my mom and my husband love each other, so it was fun. The food was fantastic, but again, I know how to plan a trip, so if you go away with me and I plan the trip, we're gonna have a good time. We're going to have a good time. So that's my favorite uh, holiday vacation, Christmas vacation. It was a beautiful, it was really nice to see. And I love, this is why I love going away too to different countries at Christmas time because that's when the traditions come out. So wherever we've been, wherever we go at Christmas time, I always make it a point to find out what is the holiday food that we have to try while we're there. So we do stuff like that. I wanna know what the culture's about through food. I wanna know any traditions they have, if there's anything, anything going on so we can take part of it. I'm very much a, a, a culture forward uh, traveler. I don't, I don't do resorts. My husband and I don't do resorts. That doesn't in interest me at all, that kind of thing. I wanna know the people. I wanna know what they're eating. I wanna know where they go. I wanna know what their traditions are. That to me is the point of traveling. So that's always fun and you take it back with you. You know what I mean? You come back home, you try to make things you've, you've you know, you've tried somewhere new, you, you have, you bring things back, ingredients. So it's, that's a huge part of travel for me. So if you've ever gone away for Christmas or if that's part of your tradition, let me know where you've been that was your favorite. And are you open to traveling during Christmas or is Christmas for you like, no, I have to be around family. Okay, so we're two for two guys. We are two for two. I'm absolutely loving how this is coming together. I think this pink is so flattering and this pearlescent, Feel, everything feels so soft, the same with the eyes and in the sun, you'll see the different colors. So I'm really, really loving how, but still still subtle and, and very delicate and very, very pretty. And next up is this Butte Perle Lumiere. This was the one that the oh, beautiful, beautiful embossing on the actual highlighter. So here we go. Uh, same packaging, but just in terms of size, the um, highlighter is larger than the other two, the cheek and the eye color. So very, I'm excited to try this on. Of course, it's one of those ones you don't want to mess up the, the, the imprint, but here we go. I'm going to use this brush. <laughs> it always looks so flimsy, but I love it because it gives the most delicate, 
uh, highlighter. Let's see if it works on this one though. I have to see the pickup. I may have to switch brushes, but it's, it's, a, it's a favorite brush of mine for highlighter because I don't really like a lot of highlighter and this does not allow me to get a lot of highlighter. So where were we? We talked about the different things. Did I ask you what you're making? What's your, what the, yeah, I think I did. Like what's your specialty for, I'm seeing it on my face. I'm gonna use a brush with a little more heft uh, that'll pick up a bit more so we can see it. Yeah. Look at that there on my cheek. So pretty. So, so, so pretty. Some, you know, brushes do make a difference. It took me a very long time to really realize how much a brush can make a difference in application speed and pick up and all that stuff. So, but when I got there, I got there and I started to collect. Not always nice for your wallets, but what's your favorite gift that you've ever given? That's a good question. What's your favorite gift that you've ever given? I've given some, I'm pretty good if I do say so myself. I actually love giving gifts because I think gifts are all about listening. And I like thoughtful gifts, gifts because I, 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 I know the people that, um, uh, that I give gifts to. I don't give gifts to everybody, but I know the ones that I give gifts to. So I really am a fan. I love, I've always loved growing up getting my mom um, presents. And my favorite present for her, I, 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 I did a really, a really cool gift one year. I took, uh, I took my mom and my godmother to, to Italy. That was, I got them tickets to Italy because they had never been. So that was an extravagant gift. That was a good gift. My favorite gift I've ever given my mom was a year that I had no money and I was like, I gotta do something special. So what I did was I, uh, I got a ba I made a basket of all her favorite things. So I got like her favorite different coffees, her coffee creamers, uh, just things that cotton balls, just things that I know that she would use and she always, she always needs. And so, um, it was just a really thoughtful, one of those kind of gifts. And I mean, I would budget was tight, so I had to do what I had to do. And, um, that is my favorite gift I may have ever given because, um, you know, I had to get creative and she loved it. And again, it was something that she was going to, things that she was gonna use anyway. So, um, perfect, perfect gift. The big gifts are nice too. Trust me, the, the Italy trip was nice, but that was just a really special, I had to dig deep to make it interesting. So one of the things we do in our family, I don't know if you do, this is so funny. I don't know, it started with my mom and my sister. Um, my mom is so trifling sometimes. So my mom will put gifts that are not the gift from the box into the gift. So one year my sister thought she was getting, I don't remember what it was right now, but she thought she was getting this amazing gift and that's not what was inside. So we just started this thing. So I'll take things from like the freezer or just ridiculous stuff that morning, something from the fridge, something from your drawer, give you back the socks that you, you, you bought yourself and I wrap it up. And you know, you get, you know, it's a gift. It still counts as a gift. I didn't say it was gonna be a new gift, but it still counts as a gift. So that's one of the things we love doing. Um, it's very, very funny. And um, this is beautiful. Oh, I absolutely love this. And this too, of course, has that same, same shift, pearly color shift um, that all the other products do. Very, very pretty three for three okay guys so let's let's get a little bit of powder on i, I don't I, I like putting my powder on before my foundation um because i do love a bit of a, a glow uh so i'm just gonna put very little of this a light wash of powder sort of to set oh i didn't show you what i was using i'm using the chantecaille medium deep pounds on okay and um, I do hope, and that's been talked about, I know people with deeper skin, that she, they come out with um, uh, another deeper color in the future. It's a very nice powder. Okay, so I think we've, I think we've covered a lot, right? We have, we have the, um, 
I'm actually gonna take a brush before I put the lipstick on and kind of just blend everything together. Buff everything out, make everything look more seamless. It should be this, but because I don't wanna put it too much on because I really don't wanna lose too much of the glow. Um, and I don't want any product on. I just want to buff with a brush. Um, this will do. Um, so I think we covered a lot, guys. So you got some questions to answer, right? We need to, I need to know, you know, what your favorite Thanksgiving food is or your holiday food, what your specialty is, if you cook, what's your thing that you do amazingly well. Uh, what is the day not, the day with, what is, you know, without, what do you, what do you need? Uh, Favorite place to travel, if you travel at the holidays, the favorite place you've ever been. A childhood, your favorite uh, gift as a child. I wanna know that. Um, and your favorite gift to give. Like, so we got some things. Let me get to know you a little bit. Um, we are done. Let's get some lipstick on. And then that's it. Y'all, I completely forgot to show you the highlighter uh, swatch. So here it is. Really beautiful pearlescence, like a uh, soft. It is. They did a really good job of making the products uh, mimic the pearl. I, I really, really pretty. Everything. So that's the the um, blush there, and then we have the highlighter there. Okay, so we've got some pink going on. So let's end it on the lips with tamarind. Their lip veil. Okay, uh, a brownie color. I love this color. I love these lipsticks. Very, very pretty. The most moisturizing lip products. I say it every time. I adore this, this formula. And we are done. Guys, I forgot mascara, it's on now. So the look is truly complete. Listen, even though I have problems with uh, the packaging, quality of the packaging, uh, it does not detract from the formulas at all. I love all three of these products. I think they're beautiful. We've got the glow, we've got the pink, We've got the eyes with the pink. This was such a fun surprise, the, the eyes. I didn't expect all, all that iridescence, but I think they did a beautiful, beautiful job translating the name of the collection, the Perlay collection, the Pearl collection. Uh, I think it comes across in every product. Everything has a delicate feel to it. Nothing is too overdone, nothing is too powerful, but very, very pretty nonetheless. So like a quality, I, you know, Shantikai always comes through for me with uh, quality and just a very, very pretty collection. So let me know, did you get anything from this collection? Are you loving the products? Give me your honest opinion about the packaging and uh, the price. Do you have uh, expectations for uh, price versus uh, packaging? Obviously performance, uh, ingredients. What, what, we talked about this recently, but I wanna know specifically for this. Are you disappointed when the packaging doesn't sort of match the, the price you paid? Let me know below. And of course, let me know what you're doing for the holidays. Let me know those questions I asked you. Let me know how you feel about the holidays, favorite things, favorite toy, favorite, you know, vacation. Let me know, I'm interested in hearing. And to all my American peeps, have a wonderful Thanksgiving. If I don't have another, another video before that, I think I'm gonna try to sneak one more in before Thanksgiving, but just in case, have a happy Thanksgiving, because Lord knows I have to cook, start cooking next Wednesday. I have to start cooking on Wednesday for Thursday, so we'll, we'll see if I can sneak one more in before um, Thanksgiving. And of course, if you wanna check out any of our boho head wraps, t-shirt, hair towel wraps, satin line beanies, satin line knit beanies, all our silk products, our linen products, visit us at breezytea.com. Again, everything is on sale. Uh, until December 2nd. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Ciao for now.